Hey, do you want to know how to make a data store which can hold currencies and other values? I can show you today. Alright, so what we're going to need to do is first obviously make a new base plate. Um, and yeah. So first, uh, for me, I'm just going to change my camera speed right now. Bit annoying. I'm going to do like 2.5. Um, so what we're going to do is we need a, for a data store, we're going to add a new script into server script service and we're going to call it data store. Yeah. So then what we can do is we could do local, uh, data, data, right? Store service equals game, get service, data store service. Okay. So this is going to get the store service that we need for well the data store so now we, we can do is local player data equals data store service get data store so we get tickets this is wrong we're gonna do again data store there we, we can do this and then we do so we can name this whatever we want um i'm just gonna call it player data and now we can do game the players got player added right and then connect function parenthesis and oh my stuff there like that and so we need to get the player and obviously oh uh, we can't just get the player server side so we're gonna do this yeah so now what we can do we can do if player if player data get so we do get async player right dot user data user id dot dot and then we can do quotation mark a dash as and then we can do then we can just do wait um and then we can actually change this into else oh. So, put the else, and then now we can do print, you have not joined before. So, that's how we know if the player has never joined before. There we go. So, now what we can do is do another game, that player is that player at, okay? We can do another function, and then we can player inside of here, enter that. So, now, now in here, we can put our value first. So, but right now, I think I'm just going to hold off on that. So, we can do the important stuff first. So, I'm going to do local down here and i'm gonna do local success and then do comma error equals p call function data equals player player data get async right? and then we could do quotation marks player data data and we could do dot dot play dot user id so then now down here we can do if data and success then so if the player has data and obviously it's successful um that that means the player has joined before because obviously if the player has data which it would mean that the player has joined so we can add a print here we can say uh we can actually do player and then we could do dot dot and we say um has joined before and then we can also do here else and we could do print so i'm gonna do player dot dot um has joined for the for first time okay so now we can do is down here we can do if success then print obviously we can print success and then we can do if data then we can do print data is being collected so we can put down here data is a table um yeah so data is a because that's where storing everything you know. So down here we can do else, okay? and we don't really need to put anything in here, so we're just going to put an else down here, and we're going to put warn, and then we're going to put inside er, so that stands for error. Uh, we called it er, so that's a minor mistake, but it doesn't really matter, you can actually call it whatever you want, I, because calling it error is just going to do that, that's fine, so I'm just going to call it err, okay? So change this, and then this to err, and yeah, so we got this done, and actually we'll go down. Oh, uh, so now we got that part done now what we need to do because this is saving it but now we need to make it so when the player uh this is getting so basically all of this here is just getting is gonna do it so when the player joins it'll set the data to what they had before so now what we need to do is make it so this is gonna be when the player is leaving so we're gonna do player removing connect function we put player so then what we do is down here let's just go put it down and let's do local data equals boom the curly brackets because it's gonna be a table then we can do local success and then do comma err equals p call again and then do function and then do that so then what we can do is do player oh whoa player data and then we're gonna do set async instead and do 
player data or no dot dot player dot user id dash data oh no. so we can do a comma and then so now we can get out of this actually and then we can do it down here we can do if success then print and then do uh do quotation marks and the data saved and obviously we need it to check if if it's not success right we need to do player and we we should kick the player because we're gonna say there was a an error saving your data and then down here actually how about we change this error loading and we could do warn and we could do this err there we go so we got basically the data store finished but we don't have any like money currency so in game.player.added this one right here with the right here above local data so we can enter here we need to do local leader stats so we're gonna make a folder called um leader stats because if it's called leader stats it will actually show up in the type top right like how i showed you in the beginning so we do local leader stats equals instance dot new and folder so basically we're just creating a new folder inside of the player when they're doing so we're gonna do leader stats dot parent equals player and we can do leader stats dot name equals uh in quotation marks i'm gonna call it the same way so stats so it actually shows up in the top runner. now we can do this we can do local uh money so um, we'll make them our money called local money equals instance dot new instead this time it's gonna be int, int value and then we can do money dot parent equals leader stats and then we can do money dot name equals and then you can call them the cash whatever you want and i'm gonna send the cash i'm gonna send so now actually it will show up when we join the game but obviously the data is not gonna save because we haven't set that up in other places so down here where it says that it is there's a comment and it says dash dash data is a table right down here what we have to do is actually set it to the table so we have to do money right dot value equals data and then we could do this since it's the data is a table we can get the brackets and then we could just put one inside because this is the first value we're gonna put so now down here we can do we can do local uh in player removing right we can do local leader stats equals player dot leader stat and then we could do local money right because we have a money value before so uh equals play it's actually not player it's gonna be leader stats but obviously you have to so i'm just gonna copy what i named it before in here uh so whatever you called it just copy it from here and just do dot and then paste it uh -huh. and now in this local data equals in cur curly brackets inside the curly brackets we're actually gonna add money dot value and then we're gonna that's actually basically all we have to do and if we're gonna add a, if you're gonna add another value make sure to add a comma okay and now if we press this if we pre if we press play right we're gonna test it out real quick and we see we got money but down here we got some errors the reason why is because we actually did not set this up yet so we have to actually go here into game settings and right here it says save to access game set we have to save to roblox so i'm gonna call this um data store tutor tutorial and i'm just gonna say made by and i'm just gonna put me as a creator and save uh huh so you're gonna have to save it right and it's gonna bring you into it so wait for that to load okay so now we're in it again right and it's not gonna work if we try it again the reason why is because we haven't allowed roblox so we haven't allowed it so we can actually use the data store service so you're gonna have to go to game settings and then secure and then go here where it says enable studio access to api server because the reason why i need to enable this actually because it, roblox says it right here enable studio access to games such as such services such as data stores okay so this will allow us our data store will work and if you want you can enable all these other ones like if you want it so you can do game passes you should enable it all right now if we press play there will be no errors oh we got a problem right oh instance oh okay i see what happened guys um what we need to do is where it says player dot dot we can actually do here player dot name instead because it's trying to it's like what the heck is happening we're gonna do player dot name dot dot okay so let's see if that's if that's the only place we used it like that then we're good uh yeah we're pretty good all right let's just now 
Press play and see if that works. Yep, and it worked. And it says Fuzzy Troll YT56 has joined before. Uh, but I have not joined before. See, it said that, but then afterwards it was like no. And as we see, it worked. So now I'm just gonna do let's just test out if it's actually gonna work. So let's make a quick block here. And I'm gonna call this give money. Uh-huh. So I'm just gonna make a quick part that's gonna give us money. So I'm gonna do a server script inside of it. So just a regular normal script. I'm just gonna call it um give money on touch so i'm gonna do script dot parent dot touched connect function okay and then what we can do is we can just do something very simple we can just go inside these parentheses i'm just gonna add hit so we can do if hit dot parent then and then we can do if hit dot parent find first child humanoid then what we can do is we can do a uh, local char equals hit dot parent actually no we could do hit dot parent right and then find first child humanoid dot parent uh-huh and then we could do local player equals game dot players dot that's what we could do this we're gonna do get player from care okay and then we can do char we can put char inside okay and then we can do player dot leader stats okay and then we could do dot so this is whatever we called our money in the data store so i'm gonna write cash because that's what i called it and i'm gonna do dot value okay and i'm gonna do plus equals and then you can just put whatever number you want i'm just gonna do 10 okay and also one last thing i want you guys to do is in here right i want you guys to go here and i want to add a comma and write player okay so just add a comma player uh -huh. so now if we press play and i'm gonna test out this part here so if i touch this part i get a lot of cash you see that i'm getting cash i'm getting cash right so i got cash right so let's leave the game and see if it and then let's join back and see if it's saved so if i press play again uh and it's saved yep it worked so that's it for this tutorial bloomcraft is about inspiration and learning so i hope this video helped you and i can't wait to see you guys next time. bye